Welcome back to The Gear Shift where innovation meets precision, and today we're diving into the skies of technology with something truly extraordinary, the HAL Tejas MK2 2025, India's next generation multirole fighter jet. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete reimagination of air dominance. Designed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, the Tejas MK2 represents India's leap into the future of defense aviation. Let's take a detailed look at its exterior design, cockpit and avionics, performance powertrain, and of course, its estimated cost and export potential. The Tejas MK2 immediately commands attention the moment it hits the runway. Its design speaks of stealth and speed. The fuselage has been stretched and refined compared to the original Tejas MK1A, offering greater fuel capacity and aerodynamic efficiency. The sleek blended wing design minimizes radar cross-section while maintaining incredible stability at high speeds. You'll notice its larger air intakes, sharper nose cone, and smoothly contoured surfaces, all designed to enhance supersonic performance and stealth characteristics. HAL engineers have worked extensively on radar-absorbent materials and coatings, reducing its radar signature significantly. The new delta wing configuration with close-coupled canards gives it improved agility, making it one of the most maneuverable fighters in its class. The landing gear has been redesigned for stronger payload capacity, supporting advanced weapon systems including air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, precision-guided munitions, and laser bombs. The Tejas Mk-2 will also carry the Astra missile and other indigenous weapon systems developed under India's Make in India defense initiative. Moving to the interior and cockpit, this is where the aircraft truly becomes a pilot's dream. The Tejas Mk-2 features a next-generation glass cockpit with a wide-area display wad, similar to those found in fifth-generation jets like the F-35. It integrates multiple mission data streams, sensor readings, and radar feedback into a single panoramic interface, giving the pilot complete situational awareness. The fly-by-wire control system has been enhanced with quadruple redundancy for safety and precision. The cockpit design supports a helmet-mounted display system, allowing pilots to lock targets simply by looking at them, a feature that significantly boosts combat efficiency. The use of touchscreen interfaces, ergonomic seat positioning, and an improved canopy with a broader field of view ensures that every second in the air counts. The cockpit's environment control system has also been refined for comfort and endurance during long-range missions, with reduced vibration and noise levels. Every switch, screen, and sensor has been placed with purpose, it's a workspace engineered for modern warfare. Now, let's talk about what truly powers this beast, its performance and engine capabilities. The HAL Tejas Mk-2 is equipped with the GEF-414INS-6 engine, a powerhouse capable of producing 98 kN of thrust, enabling the aircraft to reach speeds of Mach 1.8, or roughly 2,200 km per hour. This engine represents a 60% increase in thrust over the previous Tejas Mk-1A. That means faster climb rates, higher altitude ceilings, and more flexible mission profiles. With a combat range of nearly 1,000 km and a ferry range of over 3,000 km, the Tejas Mk-2 can take on missions that were previously reserved for heavy twin-engine fighters. The new fuel system and aerodynamic refinements contribute to superior fuel efficiency and extended flight endurance. Its multi-role versatility allows it to perform air superiority, ground strike, and reconnaissance missions with equal precision. The aircraft's onboard radar, the UTOM, AESA Active Electronically Scanned Array radar, provides 360-degree situational coverage, detecting and tracking multiple targets simultaneously with pinpoint accuracy. Combined with Electronic Warfare EU, suites, infrared search and track IRST, systems, and advanced self-protection pods, the Tejas Mk-2 is ready for any battlefield environment. One of the standout engineering achievements is its weapon integration and modularity. The aircraft has 11 hardpoints compared to the Mk-1's 8, allowing it to carry a payload of nearly 6,500 kilograms. From precision-guided bombs to air-launched cruise missiles, the Tejas Mk-2 can adapt to various mission demands within minutes. Its compatibility with both Indian and NATO standard weapons makes it a strategic export contender. The modular design of its airframe allows for faster maintenance turnaround, reducing operational costs and downtime. The avionics architecture is completely open, meaning future upgrades in radar, sensors, or even weapons can be integrated without a major overhaul, keeping it relevant for decades. When it comes to flight handling, test pilots have described the Tejas Mk-2 as exceptionally responsive, offering a 
fly by mind, experience. The combination of digital flight control and aerodynamic refinement allows tight turns, high G maneuvers, and seamless transitions between low and high altitudes. This makes it ideal for both dogfighting and precision strike roles. The aircraft's composite structure ensures strength while keeping weight minimal. Roughly 60% of the structure is made from carbon fiber composites, reducing maintenance and increasing durability. The enhanced undercarriage design allows for operation from shorter runways and even semi-prepared airfields, giving it a tactical advantage during rapid deployment scenarios. On the technological and strategic front, the Tejas Mk-2 isn't just an aircraft, it's a statement of self-reliance. India's defense ecosystem has poured years of research into making it a 4.5-generation fighter with the adaptability and stealth characteristics approaching fifth-generation standards. Its integration with domestic weapon systems, combined with potential collaboration for engine manufacturing with international partners, makes it a game-changer for regional defense capability. HAL has emphasized that the Tejas Mk-2 program will strengthen India's air combat fleet and reduce dependency on foreign jets like the Mirage 2000 and MiG-29. Now let's look at the pricing and production outlook. The estimated unit cost of the HAL Tejas Mk-2 is expected to range between $60 million to $70 million per aircraft, depending on the configuration and weapon systems integrated. That's significantly more affordable than Western alternatives like the F-16 or Rafale yet it delivers comparable performance in several areas. For India, this represents not just cost efficiency, but strategic autonomy. The Indian Air Force has already projected an initial order of over 100 units, with production expected to begin by late 2025 and full operational capability targeted around 2028. Additionally, several countries in Asia and Africa have expressed preliminary interest in acquiring the aircraft once it enters production, given its balance of cost, capability, and reliability. The HAL Tejas Mk-2 2025 stands as a powerful symbol of what innovation, persistence, and engineering excellence can achieve. It bridges the gap between fourth-generation fighters and next-generation air dominance platforms, combining agility, intelligence, and adaptability. Every line, circuit, and code inside this aircraft tells a story of progress, a journey from dependency to independence, from imitation to innovation. As India prepares to introduce it into active service, one thing is clear, the Tejas Mk-2 isn't just an upgrade, it's a declaration that the future of aerial combat has a new contender ready to soar.